Okay, I'm going to show you a modification where I actually added diffusers to two of these lights. And this one, you can see the focus in there, that what I did, I cut it out, this the round piece out of this diffuser, and then I glued it in with some shoe goo. And then here's a light, a lumen top light, that came with the diffuser that's removable. That's really nice that it actually came with it. These other two, I permanently installed the diffuser because I'm going to make these dedicated photography lights. And you see here, again, I cut out a round portion of that diffuser and it goes into the recessed area there and I put the shoe goo around the edges of it and glued it right in. Shoe goo is good to 150 degrees and so far it's holding up fine. These things are staying in fine. So you're going to see here, I'm going to demonstrate in a minute the difference, the benefit of having that diffuser on there as far as lighting up a subject for photography purposes. And I think for general use, a lot of the times you want diffused light. You don't want a hot beam in the middle. So you can see here, I'm going to put the light on it, and that's with no diffuser. See how that's got the hot section in the middle there where it's over illuminated? And the, and the camera, by the way, has to adjust each time to the white balance and all that. Here it is with the diffuser. And this is the SD Mini with the diffuser, the lumen top light. And then. I'm going to show you another one here, and this is the TN30. This has actually four 18650 batteries. That's a powerful light, but you can see once the camera adjusted to the exposure, how it's a nice even light across the subject, Audrey Sure. And here again, no diffuser, and see how hot that is in the middle. And then we're going to put the diffuser back on that light. That's the one with the removable diffuser. And there you can see the difference, how even that light is across the entire picture. So it really takes lights that are generally not a good uh, use case for photography and makes it usable. There again with the diffuser, see how it gives a nice even lighting. And again, using dedicated lights that are designed for photography is always the best course of action, but sometimes that's not practical. And sometimes you have these lights anyway, and you can double duty them by putting a diffuser on them. And here again, you can see how, how nice that looks lit up using the diffuser. So just food for thought that these high quality LED flashlights that now have good color to them and so forth, they used to all be kind of blue and didn't have good neutral color, but now they've got pretty good color to them and they can really be pushed into service as a photography light. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.